Ian Murray. Thank you, Mr Speaker. On a number of occasions, the Home Secretary has said in this House that international student numbers will be uncapped, that skilled workers that are required for the economy will be uncapped, that our public services will be able to get the people that they wish from all over the world to work in our public services. So can the International Trade Secretary tell us how many of these rollover agreements or how many of the future agreements post-Brexit will be rubbished or dictated to by the fact that many of our partners who want these bilateral trade deals want a lessening of the UK's hostile environment policy? So well, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the policy on students is to encourage students to come here, and many uh, do so. For example, we are the number one global destination for Chinese students, and ahead of the United States, they will come because they believe the quality of education is high, and we have no intentions, as the honourable gentleman knows, of limiting student numbers coming to the UK. Uh, likewise, with migration, as my right honourable friend has said, uh, we look to ensure that the levels of skill required for the UK economy are available. To us. It makes sense in a modern integrated economy that our migration policy is, uh, gives priority to ensuring the skills needed for our economic growth.